In a three-part hematology system, the blood cells are all counted and assessed using impedance technology and are then displayed in three separate histograms, platelets, red blood cells, and white blood cells. White blood cells are defined as the cells between the set lower and upper discriminators, where the x-axis represents the size of the cells in femtoliters, and the y-axis represents the number of cells. In a three-part hematology system, the white blood cells are further separated into three populations. Lymphocytes. Mid-cells, mainly containing monocytes and granulocytes which consists mainly of neutrophils. Lymphocytes and granulocytes are visualized in two distinguishable peaks centered at about 100 femtoliters and 300 femtoliters. The mid-cells are situated in between these two main population peaks. An abnormal high at the low discriminator could have several possible causes such as platelet clumps, giant platelets, lice-resistant red blood cells, cryoglobulins. The reason for the abnormal high at the lower discriminator is that the analyzer is unable to differentiate in between these cells, fragments, and complexes as they are very similar in size and the populations therefore merge. This may also cause a falsely elevated white blood cell count. Check for platelet clumps, if they are found take a new sample and analyze again. If no platelet clumps are found, proceed to manual smear. If the curve does not end at the baseline, and instead displays an abnormal high at the upper discriminator this could be due to severe neutrophilia. In this example the neutrophilia is due to CML, chronic myeloic leukemia, which also can result in an increase in myeloic cells. The reason for the abnormal high at the upper discriminator is that the extreme amount of white blood cells clusters, making it complicated for the analyzer to read them one by one. If this occurs, pre-dilute the sample and rerun. Proceed to check smear. An left shift of the lymphocyte and granulocyte population may be caused by lice-resistant red blood cells such as sickle cells, or nucleated red blood cells. The reason for the shift is that unlysed cells, or red blood cells with a nucleus are counted as lymphocytes and thus give a false rise to the lymphocyte population. Since red blood cells are derived from the myelocyte stem cell which also is the origin for granulocytes, the increase of nucleated red blood cells is often accompanied by an increase in immature granulocytes, causing the left shift of granulocytes in the histogram. If this occurs, perform a blood smear check for nucleated red blood cells or other irregularities. A left shift of the lymphocyte peak without an increase or shift of the granulocytes may be caused by malaria. The reason for the shift is that malaria-infected red blood cells are more resistant to lice and therefore is counted as lymphocytes causing a false increase and shift of the lymphocyte peak. If this occurs, perform a blood smear, check for malaria-infected cells. A general decrease of the leukocytes in combination with a decrease of red blood cells and platelets, also called pancytopenia, indicates a severe bone marrow dysfunction. If instead, the red blood cell count is normal, the platelets and white blood cells are low, but the lymphocyte ratio is high, this can be an indication of dengue-initiated destruction of myeloid progenitor cells. If any of these patterns occur, perform a blood smear and run a test for dengue fever. A decrease in the lymphocyte peak combined with an increase in the granulocyte peak is an indication of a bacterial infection such as E. coli. If this occurs, proceed to verify infection. An elevated lymphocyte peak in combination with a decreased granulocyte peak instead indicates a viral infection such as mononucleosis. If this occurs, proceed to verify infection. A right shift of the lymphocyte peak masking the valley in between lymphocytes and mid-cells could have several possible causes such as blast cells, plasma cells, abnormal or variant lymphocytes, 
The reason is that the high increase of mid-cells or abnormal cells causes the peaks of the lymphocyte and the mid-cell population to merge and the analyzer is unable to distinguish in between these. If this occurs, the instrument may show a DE flag. Proceed to confirm the abnormality in smear. An elevation in the midsection of the histogram could have several possible causes such as monocytosis, eosinophilia, and basophilia. The reason is that the high increase of midcells causes the lymphocyte and granulocyte peaks to merge and the analyzer is unable to distinguish in between the populations. If this occurs, the instrument may show an OM flag. Proceed to confirm the abnormality in smear. A sharp elevation of the mid-peak could have several possible causes such as monocytosis, eosinophilia, immature granulocytes, abnormal neutrophils. The reason is that the high increase of mid-cells or abnormal cells causes the peaks of the mid-cell and granulocyte population to merge, and the analyzer is unable to distinguish in between these. Proceed to confirm the abnormality in smear. The detection of only one peak in the WBC histogram may be caused by chronic lymphocytic leukemia. The reason is that because of the malignancy, the bone marrow focus on the production of normal and abnormal lymphocytes, causing a decrease in the production of mid-cells and granulocytes noticeable in the histogram as an absence of these peaks. If this occurs the system may give an OM flag. Proceed to confirm the abnormality in smear.